I've had a lot of shops in a lot of different garages, but they all had one thing in common. The floor wasn't level. It slopes, so the water drains away. And that's okay for fixed tools and fixed benches, because you can shim them level. But for your mobile tools and mobile benches, it creates a unique problem. Well, today I've got a little tip for you. It's easy to make and it works great and it'll cost you next to nothing. So let's get going. We're out in front of the Down to Earth Woodworking Shop and we're on a concrete apron that extends out. That concrete apron is sloped exactly like a garage floor. Now I've moved out a piece of equipment and you can readily see the problem. The machine has got quite a lean. Now the wheels are locked and the machine won't move but this is very uncomfortable to work at and may impact your accuracy. For orientation purposes, when the machine is parked like this, at the operator position here, and the slope is going this way, we're gonna call this machine being parked perpendicular to the slope. If we were to turn the machine this way, we would call that the machine being parked parallel to the slope. Either way, when we move our machinery around, we need a way to get it level and still be able to lock the wheels and work safely. So let's get on that. Okay, now for the purposes of this video, we're going to pretend that this machine stays parked in the corner and when I get ready to use it, I roll it out and where I roll it out to use it, this is the orientation. I park it perpendicular to the slope. Now we're gonna need two measurements that are key. That's the distance between these wheels, center to center, which is about 12 and a quarter, and the distance between the wheels front to back, which is about uh, 19 and a half. This is your key measurement right here. We wanna make sure we get that right. All right, now I moved the machine out of the way and I got a long level. It doesn't have to be this long, but the longer the better. And I put two pieces of blue painter's tape on here and the inside edge to the inside edge is 12 and a quarter inches, the same distance as between these wheels. Then I put the level on the concrete and I used some shims until I got the level um, level. So now all I have to do and then just measure to the top of the level. I've got four and one eighth inch here and I've got three and a half here. The difference between four and one eighth and three and a half is five eighths of an inch. So if I raise these two wheels on this machine by five eighths of an inch when it's sitting here, the machine should be level. So let's go inside and make what we need. So basically what we're gonna do is for each machine, we're gonna build a ramp. The ramp will be specific to that machine and it'll bring it up to level, assuming we measured everything correctly. Now in the case of this machine, I need a ramp that'll raise two wheels five eighths of an inch. Now you could make the ramp out of built up pieces, plywood, or you could plane down a thicker piece. I found this piece of pine, it's three quarters of an inch thick. It's pretty rough looking, it's a scrap. I think I'm just gonna plane this down to thickness. I don't think I'll use this for anything else. So this will be good for our ramp. All right, we've got this to the right thickness. Now I need to make it the right length. All right, now we need to cut a bevel 
on our ramp board so the wheels can go up easily. Now my miter saw will go over to 55 degrees and I think that'll be okay. The other thing you could do is you could just bevel this with a belt sander. I'm going to do it on the miter saw. I've got the board clamped to the fence for safety and I'm ready to cut. All right, I've got a little scrap of hardwood and what we're going to do is we're going to cut three pieces to make a little safety rail around our ramp so the wheels don't roll off. All right, before we start assembling our ramp, let's drill one hole in the opposite end from the incline part. We're going to just drill a half inch hole and we're going to put it pretty close to the end. This will be the hole we'll use to hang the ramp up and store it when we're not using it, but we don't want the hole out in the middle someplace or big enough that one of the wheels of our machine could run into it. All right, so let's glue up our little assembly. We've got the sloped portion of the ramp up and our hanging hole at this end. So all we got to do is put on a little glue. And we want to put a little glue right here on the end of this piece. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use a pin nailer. We'll nail this in together first. That way we're sure to get these lined up. All right, now this has been drying for 15, 20 minutes just to make sure the glue tacked up on it. Now what I want to do is I want to turn this over and we're going to use some of this rug gripper material. It's sort of a rubbery, grippy sort of stuff you can buy at any place that sells throw rugs. It's to keep your rugs from slipping around on a slick floor and it works really good to keep our ramp from slipping around too. So what we're going to do is just spread some glue on. We're going to try to make it pretty thin so it doesn't seep through this material a whole lot. Now I'm using Type Bond 3 in case the floor ever gets wet. Keep your glue from dissolving. Let's see if we can spread that out thin now. It's uh, looking pretty good. Let's, uh, let's make sure we've got enough on the edges. Now we'll just put this on and the only thing we want to be careful of is to make sure that we don't have any wrinkles. All right, we're going to let that dry and then we're going to take a razor knife and trim this off around the edges and around our little hanging hole. That is perfectly level. So there we go. A simple little ramp that'll keep all of your machines on the level. Make two for each machine. One if you're going to have the machine parked perpendicular to the slope and another that would capture either the two front wheels or the two back wheels if you're going to use your machines parallel to the slope of the floor. Hope you enjoyed this. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. 
thank you for watching.